welterweight division matchup. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance he has great distance management which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in it's a over, world of JK. trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Kingston, Jamaica, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Ready? Ready? Let's go, guys. Right, the UFC's unofficial home base, T Mobile Arena, here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Set the trap. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, big head kick lands. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Three minutes now, round one. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Oh! Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite strike in round MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is the opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. What a fight. 
fight. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, straight right. Nice head kick. Huge liver kick. That might do it. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Now connects with a right. Oh, nice. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. You ready? You ready? Let's go, fight. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Oh, and he caught the kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Whoa! He'll finish this fight. He might be out. Nice body kick right onto the elbow. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick. Yeah? Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Big kick land. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Ooh, what a punch. Nice one, two there. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Let's go, let's go. It's a warning. Wow! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Landed a good uppercut there. Jab hurt him a little bit. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Leg kick, check, nice what a fight so far. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent 
allowed him to stay in the fight. But he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Third round underway. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous... Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his oh. fight. He went high on that one. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Lee's knee strike is bluffed. Boy, tie block. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Certain the finish could come at any time. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Close guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Less than two minutes with which to work here. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Great punch landing with so much power. John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Throws the left hand. Oh, that is a nice straight punch by him there. He's got it all going tonight. No wasted actions. No loopy punches. He's going right to the target. All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' court cards for decision. All three judges score this contest 30 27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly 